Hey, what's up? What's up? What's going on? It's all good. It's all good. Huh? I said, what's going on? You stupid, motherfucker? I, I, I said, what's going on? You, I said, what's up? I said, what's going on? I said, what's up? I said, what's up? All right. I said, what's up? I think they think I'm a punk. I just got that suit on. Wow, temperatures flaring. Terrence Crawford has it. Let's just say an interaction with Derrick James, Errol Spence, Trey Ice, Thought that Kick. Let's talk. Right. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. You guys heard the audio. Make sure you check out. They just dropped an all access Showtime. Shout out to Showtime Boxing doing a beautiful job. PBC, Showtime Boxing, Steven Espinosa, Al Him, all y'all. So they just dropped kind of a recap of the press tour. As you guys know, they did a Los Angeles, New York stop, two city press tour. Kind of taxing on the body, going from coast to coast, because neither fighter, Crawford nor Errol Spence, lives in L.A. or in New York. So they had to uproot, stop their training camp, wherever they are. I think Crawford might be in Colorado. Errol trains in Texas. Go to L.A. Then the very next day, you know, they're in New York, different time zones. But it's all part of the job. So in this BTS from Showtime, in this recap, they show... Uh, engagement that was never really like talked about because I don't know if anyone knew it. It was kind of quick behind the scenes. And I don't think the P see, I know how boxing goes because I cover fights or whatever, but the YouTube media, because let's be real, YouTube run the boxing game. Like YouTube is the one with cameras. You, the reason you guys see anything that happens in boxing is because of YouTube boxing, right? So they were probably in their seats getting ready for the press conference. So really, no one had access and no one was really privy to this altercation. But had they had somebody out there, you know, they would have had a, a viral gym right there. But Showtime cameras were rolling and it was that altercation. You guys, hopefully you can hear it. I'll elaborate on what was said since you can't see it visually. But you can't see it visually if you do what I did. Click the link in the description and watch it. So... Derek James was walking by maybe to get to his locker room or to get to the press conference, whatnot. And Terrence Crawford was like, what's up? What's up? And Derek James walked by. I can't really hear and make out what he said, but it sounded like he was like, all right, what's up? And Terrence Crawford kind of seen an op or maybe having a chip on his shoulder. He turned around and he started like stalking <laughs> Derek James like he started walking and encroaching and approaching like what what's up what's up you know how people do before a fight you guys gotta see it and he was like what's up I said what's up and then he said you stupid muff like stupid mf -er. and Derek James he has like kind of like uh, uh, he doesn't like broadcast his voice really loud so I can mostly hear the mics capturing what Terrence Crawford was saying more than Derrick James. But if you guys watch it again, link in the description, then you can make it out. Then please leave a comment and tell me what was being said. Cause I couldn't make out everything, but all in all, Derrick James walking by, like I said, Terrence Crawford's like, what's up? What's up? And then Derrick James must've mumbled like, what's up? And it was kind of like a misunderstanding or wires cross and Terrence Crawford maybe thought like thinking it was friction you know he's gonna pull up he gonna pull up to the spot <laughs> it was like what's up what's up you stupid muff what's up I was trying to be cool but what's up like it, that's the energy that I seen and it's funny because I remember I was in Porter's gym when they had their gym in Las Vegas and Kenny Porter had told us and I have it on video I mean, I'd have to look for it, but it's somewhere on one of my hard drives. Kenny Porter had told us a story of how he was like the amateur coach and there was some kind of altercation or something. And Terrence Crawford, I think, was being sent home because he got in a fight with somebody or some something like that. And then he he being Kenny Porter had a misunderstanding with Terrence Crawford and he went to kind of confront him about his behavioral issue or whatever it was. And he said he was kind of like in an alley or kind of cornered. Terrence Crawford and a young, I'm talking about a youthful Terrence Crawford balled up his fist, he told us. He said Crawford balled up his fist, even though Kenny Porter, being his senior, being an elder, like being an adult versus him, he was a teenager or whatnot at that age. And he said Crawford balled up his fist. It reminded me of the Richard Pryor joke. It made me ball up my fist. Put your hands down, goddamn. Show you how scared I was. It made me unball my fist, goddamn. Right. 
so that's another kind of example where somebody a little bit older has some kind of misunderstanding with Crawford and Crawford being about that smoke, being about that work and like damn near ready to chunk them at any moment kind of thing. And that's kind of what that's what it reminded me. You know, I don't know if the situations were exact, but that reminded immediately when I seen this, that's what I thought of that Kenny Porter story about how Terrence Crawford was fearless in that moment. Listen, great. This is just great for the buildup. You know, the fighters have said their piece. They're back in their training camps. This is an amazing fight. It's a meaningful fight. It's really all you can ask for in the world of boxing. Meaningful fight. Two dedicated fighters. They've shown behind the scenes. And I got Ego Weight Watcher videos, a.k.a. Ew, coming soon. I'm going to be real dedicated, real Johnny on the spot with this fight. But the fighters look in shape. The fighters are sounding confident. You got juicy, you know, cheese me with Derek James in this confrontation or whatever brief exchange and misunderstanding with the what's up, what's up. And that can be seen on the recap. I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely supporting this fight, yo. Terrence Crawford, definitely fearless. You know, he, he, he want to clarify any situation right then and there kind of attitude. And that's what you've seen with him and Derek James. Now, you know, if you're from the hood, if you're from the block, you kind of know some things in, in this world are really about how it's said. Like you could say, like you walk up, like let's say some dudes on the corner, you walk up and you're like, hey, what's up? Like you do it like that, then it ain't nothing. But if you walk up and kind of look someone up and down, you're like, what's up? Then people are looking at it. That's just a completely different energy just based on how you said something. Like, so it's not really about what you said, it's how you said it. And that's what it seemed like here is like Crawford walked up and like, what's up? What's up? You know what I'm saying? And Derek James like, what's up? And walk off and, you know, people feel a type of way. Tensions are already high. Terrence Crawford kind of got the chip on his shoulder. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to it, man. Great fight. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Say, I'm the best in the business cinema. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.